Tugazani, Tugazani, Wukukunabumkulu, Tugazani. Welcome to yet another episode on Koko Malanzela TV and I am Ukoko Malanzela. Um, today, <coughs> excuse me, today I would just like to weigh in on a topic that most people sort of, I can't say they don't pay attention to. But I think maybe it's just the way to go about it or how to navigate around it. So today's video is just, I don't think it's going to be that long. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, these are just my four tips on working on yourself, right? Um, these are things you can be aware of. These are things that you might not be aware of um do share with us in the comment section what you think and do definitely subscribe to our channel so that you get all that is the latest in the content that we have in store for you so without wasting any further time um working on ourselves is very important it's very important to prepare ourselves cleanse ourselves you know um fix ourselves for ourselves before we want to do it for anybody else right so number one work on yourself when i talk about working on yourself i'm talking about groom yourself right um groom yourself into how you would like things to be done or following how things should be done right Two, in working on yourself, open yourself up to change. Open yourself up to change. Understand that life is a constant change, right? And change is important because change then therefore teaches us if we can adapt or not. If we adapt or we die, it's a sort of type of thing. Um, and do better when it comes to your flaws. So you understanding your weaknesses, work on that, better that as part of working on yourself. Um, it is not easy. It is not easy to look at your flaws or look into the mirror and say, this is where I've gone wrong or this is where I've done what or this is where I've done what. But if we're talking about now a person who just wants to be at peace with themselves and live with themselves, we're talking about making sure that self is okay to handle whatever might be coming your way. So number two, okay, no two, because that was four. <laughs> number two is focus on your health. Health is not only a medical thing. Health is holistic. Again, I always say and I speak about holistic healing. It's in here, it's in here, it's here, it's in here. There are many parts of you that form who you are. So look at all the elements that need to be attended to. Right? So when we say now focus on yourself, we're saying eat healthy. Well, try eating healthy. Um, they say an apple a day keeps a doctor away, right? So eat healthy. Two, choose better habits. What is your bad habit? You know, everybody has a bad habit. And if you can work on breaking that habit for the better, we are then looking at your health as well because the things that you do affect how you feel they affect what you think they affect how you react to things so it is important then to choose better habits if the habits that you have now are not healthy enough for you while you're still focusing on your health be kind to yourself don't think that there is an overnight or a miracle that's going to happen 
you need to be in in being kind to yourself it means you're willing to be patient with yourself where you don't understand it means you're willing to be patient with yourself where you don't have it means you are patient you're applying things towards yourself that make life a lot easier for you you don't have you don't put so much pressure on yourself that you've got stress you've got depression you've got anxiety you know you need to be kinder to yourself so that we can overcome some of these challenges because some of them are not even supposed to be there but they are there because why the mind you know gets so consumed by what you want to achieve or why you want to achieve it that even when you achieve it you don't feel fulfilled or satisfied so when you're kinder to yourself even when small things happen you are able to appreciate so you're able to appreciate um you know there's butterflies outside you know there are birds outside you are able to acknowledge unlike when you are under pressure you fail to even acknowledge the smallest of things number 3 work towards a goal um there's nothing more sad then working and working and working and working nothing yes sebenza are you working with sebenza sebenza with sebenza nothing right so in get in working towards your goal get your attitude correct right understand what you're working towards why and what it needs in order for you to accomplish it right and then also in working towards that goal organize yourself organize your environment organize whatever's around you so that you have a much more clearer picture of what you are engaging yourself in and also in working towards your goal be committed be committed to making everything work be committed to looking for solutions be committed to finding new ways to deal with things be committed to following through with what you said you would do you know um it it, it will do so much wonders for you because you will start to see you the vision clearer you will start to understand the vision clearer and um that is indeed what we working towards when we talk about working towards a goal so your lack of commitment will show in working towards your goal your dedication to your commitment in terms of working on your goal will also show so if you don't know what to do or what get a wellness coach that can direct you in the right direction there are some sangomas who provide counseling there are those that provide coaching um because there are certain things that people need to understand over and above whatever is already there last but not least number 4 number 4 number 4 number 4 one of my favorites one of my favorite things to do is to prepare your environment prepare your environment your environment first starts with you before anything materialistic around you right so number 1 when we talk about preparing your environment we're talking about take care of your heart take care of your thoughts first thing when we talk about preparing your environment take care of your heart and take care of your thoughts because these are the things that have a major influence over our lives and these are the things that also determine whether we follow through or not with whatever we have to do another thing when you're preparing your environment you need to allow the spirit of truth the spirit of peace the spirit of harmony and the spirit of love to enter your home allow those spirits allow the spirit of truth if you're not ready to deal with something be ready to deal with it because we're taking care of the environment if your household 
every time there's always shouting hey why is the cup here hey no why is the curtain there born you need to prepare your environment whereas there is love and communication and workmanship um, that makes the difference because you cannot be in a contaminated space and expected to heal you cannot be in a contaminated space and expected to see or you know and, and go through the purest of emotions you cannot you cannot be sad day in and day out and you know there's, there's a whole lot of things that you just need to do in terms of preparing your environment Another thing is that when you're preparing for your environment, you need to make better decisions. So after you are working in this environment and you're preparing this environment, um, you need to make better decisions. So better decisions can be in any form by the people that you allow into your space, the things that you do in your private space or the things that you do in social spaces, the things that you are doing, just making better decisions. And then my personal last one of preparing your environment is to cleanse your environment. Cleanse yourself, cleanse your environment. Um, for many people, cleansing of the environment works differently. Some people cleanse their environments through burning sage. Some people get, or in in this case, some people do it through candles. Some people do it through, you know, dibata. There are many different ways in order for a person to prepare for their uh, environment. And you need to be willing for yourself. It is not for anybody else, but it's for your peace of mind and way forward. So guys, these are my personal four tips on working on yourself. Um, take it one day at a time. Take it one day at a time. If you have guidance, you are fortunate. If you don't have guidance and you feel like you need guidance, get the help that you need. There is nothing bad about asking for help. There's nothing wrong with gaining clarity. There's nothing wrong with being clear when moving forward. Um, however, don't stand in the way of your own progress. Don't stand in the way of your own progress. Do what you can, how you can, when you can, and ask your ancestors to guide you through it every step of the way. And they will. And if they don't, find out why they're not doing so. <laughs> so there are many things to look into. But while you go on your journey of um, preparing your environment and working towards goals and fixing yourself, being aware of your health and working on yourself holistically in general, I wish you all the best. I wish you love and light and may all things go according to plan. Togazan, thank you very much for tuning into this video. Until next time again, 